Dan's out with diarrhea, so. Again. <laughs> Again. We're here filming a video. What are we doing today? So I got another uh, interesting eBay find. This is a turtle shell, about nine, eight, nine inches. It's about eight. I'll go with 10. Was that ethically sourced? There's, there's no way of knowing. But yes, of course. The internet would never steer you wrong. So before we cut it, or before we look inside, it's like super hard. It doesn't even flex, and I want to see. So before we cut it with the water jet, before we cut this with the water jet, I want to see how much weight it'll hold. Super strong, doesn't even flex. It's like it, stand on it. At least eight pounds. Well, I don't want to break it. We're gonna build a contraption uh, that'll support weights on it, and then we'll see at what point it breaks and how strong this particular eight to 10 inch turtle is, was. All right, let's get to building the contraption. play music over this. Okay. Show us how this works. So if I were a Dan, this would be like a metal frame, um, but I don't know how to weld, so I just put some plastic pieces together. Uh, sim simple physics, two sheets of steel on the frame, so this slides up and down. So all the weight we put on it will be on that turtle shelf. There'll be minimal forces here. We got a little wiggle room. So most of the weight should be straight down. We're gonna balance the load. Uh, and then we'll see at what point that bad boy cracks. Everybody's been saying in the comments and wondering where I get my gains. We're about to show you. We're gonna head to my house. We have about a thousand pounds of weight that we're gonna put on our turtle shell. Cut and action. That wasn't ready. And while we drive to Elliot's house, a quick word from our sponsor. We want to thank Raycon for sponsoring this week's video. Raycon offers premium quality earbuds at about half the price of the other guys. And they don't fall out. Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry from the way they design their products to the way they price them. Plus, Raycon prioritizes their customer experience from start to finish. The company was co-founded by Ray J and is loved by celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Mike Tyson. They have an impressive six hours of playtime, a range of fun colors and patterns, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a compact design with a variety of fit options for a comfortable, noise isolating fit with no dangling wires or stems. I listen to audiobooks in my car and when I get where I'm going, I pop in my Raycons and continue right where I left off. Show your support for the channel and get 50% off your order by going to buyraycon.com slash waterjet or just click the link in the description. And you can't go wrong with Raycon. They've got a 45 day free return policy. And we're here. This, this is the workshop. This is where all the magic happens. We're gonna see how much weight we can get on the turtle shell here. First, I'm gonna need to lift some of these weights to be strong enough to be able to lift the other weights. We added some plywood and a little piece of foam to spread out a little bit of the weight. So it's not just the plate directly on the shell. Let's start adding some pounds. Okay, let's start with 50. Try to put it on, balanced here. How's it looking? It's holding strong. She's unfazed. That's more. 30 more. Oh, oh that's good. Can I do another 30? Holding strong. Oh. We're going to get some bigger weights on here. We're going to have to rearrange. All right, All right. we've got 110 again. Uh, we might be stupid here, but we're just going to put another 100 pounds on it. I'm feeling good about this show. If this just breaks here, though, the video's done-za. All right, so that's 210 pounds. That's holding up my weight. I could step on a turtle, and he would be unscathed. <laughs> 
We just keep stacking? Yeah, just add on like 20 pounds at a time. So put on like the two tens. If that holds, then add like two twenties. If that holds, we'll do bigger. That's no problem. Yeah, 220 pounds. Sorry, was that? No, that was 230, right? Those are tens. Oh yeah. Good man. So this is 250. 250. How's it looking? It looks fine. I feel like maybe I thought I heard something. So let's get to the 30s. All right. So we're up to 270. Math me up. 270, looking good. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna readjust here a little. We're a little off center. Um, but I think it's holding 290, pretty strong. We got the 55s then the 50s and then the 40s. All right, balance it out a little bit better here. We're gonna add the 245, so 90 more pounds, uh, and gonna be up to 300 pounds on the show. Okay, next, let's add 40 more pounds, we'll be up to 340. Okay, we're at 300, trying to go for 340. I'm a little scared to be here right now. something. You gotta put those on at the same time. So if you look, this top plate of steel is kind of bending from the weight on each side with the shell in the middle. And the bottom plate is bending. And this is a uh, 3 16 hardened steel here. A substantial amount of weight, it's bending the steel. We've got 360 pounds bending the steel uh, and not breaking the shell. So that's Stronger, guy. stronger than steel. 420 pounds. You'll have to check my math, but I think we're think we're good. Elon, what do you think about 420? Good. The shell's still surviving. I thought I heard a crack there. I don't know. And you can definitely see that it's bending. Six six hundred and ninety pounds? That's the goal. It's our next goal. That's the stretch goal. We're gonna drop the stack before the turtle shell crushes. Oh gosh. 500. So the 70 pounder over here, we're bringing it up to 690. I don't know if we can fit the 70 pounder. Oh, that's gonna fall on me. <laughs> Let's take it slow. There's no more weights. We're at 620. Elliot's <laughs> phone, I think, might have broke on the <laughs> stack of books here. Unbury the shell. I think we're still good. Alright. Did it fall because it cracked or because we couldn't balance it? Oh no, that looks flat. Weights cleared. See the damage? Alright. Ooh, that was a clean break. So 620 pounds and then it eventually just exploded. <laughs> Tough little fella. Uh, I mean, 620 pounds is more than I thought it would hold. Yeah, we were afraid to stand on it. Uh, and look how thin that is. I mean, compared to the steel, and that's less than an eighth of an inch thick. So the steel is at least twice as thick. You can see compared to the steel plate there. The plate is 3 16 so it might be a third as thick, even half to a third. Uh, and it held 620 pounds. Jeez. You impressed? I am. So it held the 620, but as we tried to do any more weight, uh, that was kind of its breaking point. It must have been slowly cracking. Uh, so we'll go back and uh, look at that footage. So some people do puzzles for fun. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> um, this is about as good as I get. The pieces that uh, fit together here. Uh, I thought the most the most interesting is the spine here. That there's actually vertebrae inside the shell. So even though they're not joints like they would be on a human shell, since the shell or the human spine, your little vertebrae in there that I assume has some sort of a spinal column. 
allows turtles to do turtly things. Uh, so I don't think you could actually take a turtle out of its shell without killing it because the spine is connected to the shell. It's an important observation. Is that, is that our conclusion to this video? <laughs> is that you cannot de-shell a turtle without his demise. And they can hold up to 620 pounds. Uh, this is for an 8 to 10 inch. So maybe if you got a bigger turtle shell, you could hold bigger pounds. Maybe a future video then. Thanks everybody. Everybody go get a pair of Raycons right now. Everybody hit like and subscribe. Dan would never say that. <laughs>